the back of your spoon and break it all up. Make sure everything has like ample real estate in the skillet. And then we're gonna cook all of this until the chicken's done and then assemble. Let's go ahead and give this a little seasoning as we go. So while the chicken and the mushroom mixture is going, I have my cool handy dandy little cat oven mitt. We are going to drain off the pasta. We can just put this right on our cutting board and then the pasta is gonna go back in here and we're just gonna let it hang out until the chicken mixture is ready to go. Chicken and mushroom mixture is done. Oh my God, this smells insane. Just dump it right into the pasta, juices and all. And then with your tongs, just mix everything together. And we're going to finish this off with a couple things. First up, chives. If you can't find chives, you can use parsley. Then we need some lemon zest, which we zested earlier. All right, then we're gonna add in some lemon juice, and then we'll season it with a little bit of salt, some red pepper flakes to give it a little bit of a kick, some more ground black pepper, and then the last ingredient we need is just like an Italian cheese blend. I think this is just like Parmesan and Romano, and I don't really know what else, but it's delicious. Like any of the packaged ones are fine. Just dump that all in and then take it all. We'll just go ahead and mix it all up. And I mean, <laughs> look at that. You can like see the cheese dripping off of that. All right, so we'll just serve some of this up in a bowl. So just twirl it up. Make sure you have some chicken on there. And it's the perfect bite. Huh? I mean, it's so good. Oh, so happy. Let me tell you about Miracle Noodles and why they're awesome. These noodles really are a diet miracle. Not only are they zero calories, seriously, but they're not loaded in lectins. In fact, they're made from glucomonin starch, a starch that comes from a sweet potato-like tuber called the konjac root. Well, the fiber in these miracle noodles is prebiotic fiber. It's the stuff the good bugs in your gut use as food. So not only are you eating a delicious noodle substitute, you're nourishing your microbiome at the same time. So let me tell you how to prepare shirataki noodles the Gundry way. Here's the thing about miracle noodles and the other shirataki noodles. They're a little different from regular pasta. They really do smell a little fishy at first. But rest assured, that smell goes away pretty quickly. And it's not fish. And it doesn't impact the flavor at all. And whatever you do, please don't follow the instructions on the package. Especially if you're using a recipe featured in one of my blogs or my book. Instead, follow these simple recipes. Whether you're using angel hair, fettuccine, or spaghetti, it works like a charm. So, bring a pot of salted water to a boil. Now, remove your noodles from the package and put them in a strainer. So you put the strainer under running water. Now, if you're not in California, you can rinse these for, oh, two or three minutes. And you'll definitely notice a fishy smell. Since it's California, I'm not gonna do it that long because the salted water and the boiling will take some of this process out. Okay, so we've got these noodles rinsed. And now we're gonna put them in the boiling water. And so we're just gonna boil these for a couple minutes. And we'll cut there and I'll show you what's gonna happen after we boil them. Okay, so once they're boiled, you strain them again and you put them in a dry pan. Now here's the secret. You put them over medium heat and you stir and stir. Now, the key is you don't have to use any oil, and in fact, the oil at this point will ruin the process. Now, you'll hear them pop and sizzle, and that's actually them drying out. The longer you do this, the more this will taste like what you think of as pasta. So that's about a minute. I could go easily for another minute, they absolutely will not burn. They will not stick. It's actually kind of fun to play with once you get used to the fact that they're not going to stick. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret while this is burning off. If you're a newbie to this, the angel hair variety is smaller and thinner and it'll dry out a lot quicker. 
The spaghetti is the next up. The fettuccine takes the longest. 